chapter two, patience is an issue. And, uh, and then what the part of Derry knew swooped through the massive bearing through the hedge ponies who had guns I haven't believed she made it. Even through she was blocking the path of the secret stone that was unlocked at the hidden gates that led to the road of the volcano of destiny. Rainbow Dash yelled. She spared her blue wings out wide in excitement. Her voice so loud that any pony within miles of radius in Ponyville Park would have heard her. On the only other times that she got this worked up uh, was when she was flying before a sonic rainbow or when she was uh, from the wonderful uh, one of the Wonderbolts to a sweet new trick. Spoiler alert, la la la, uh, Twilight sing. As she held her hooves to her ears, she shook her head back and forth in protest. Uh, Twilight, what are you doing? Asked Rainbow Dash, raising a skeptical eyebrow. Don't you want to talk about how totally awesome this book is? Especially the part where- No! Twilight yelled. She softened her tone and added, so, uh, Sorry, I mean no. No spoilers, please. You're not finished yet? Rainbow was whined, doing a dramatic twirl before falling to the ground. This is the worst I have thought of you, of all of you ponies in Equestria. Would it be done reading it by now? Don't, don't eggheads like you just like look like books and absorb them away? She groaned. Twilight smirked. Sometimes Rainbow says things that sounded harsh, but they were only compliance in disguise. It's whatever that she called uh, twi she called Twilight an egghead. She meant it through. Twilight was smart. Well, I can speed read, but this is a book, and actually a survivor, uh, to savor and and, and, and enjoy. Twilight held up a copy. A new one of these doesn't come up every day, you know. Of course, the rainbow knew she'd only they all had been working way into the daring to adventure, waiting for what months? Hey, what's all you get for once? Rainbow pointed to the daring do bookmark that is stuck between the pages. About the third of the, the way through, it was shaped like the famous relic from the first book and from the series. The staff was a sapphire stone. It was actually pretty sweet. They sell the book that uh, they sell them at the bookshop. You, uh, you can have one of these if you want. Offered Twilight. She passed it to Rainbow. Trying to make up for her disappointment. Nah, it's okay, Rainbow said, uh, handing the book uh, back, to, back the bookmark. It's a nice gesture. But Rainbow Dash's number one problem is still, is still haven't solved. She noticed she needed some time for some pony who had finished reading the book. So she began to go over and a new awesome stuff what happened in the story. Now, sorry, now, how am I supposed to talk about the new coolest parts of the story if nobody has finished it yet? Rainbow groaned. Sorry, Rainbow, Twilight said, taking a seat towards her favorite bench on the perimeter of, on Ponyville Park. But I have to, you know, be, but I'm taking it to take my time. Then she opened her book and settled into a slow, relaxing re reading session. I guess reading is another thing that show, showcases how fast and slow every pony else is. Rainbow mumbled before taking off to the clouds. Story of my life. Fluttershy was a group of the ducklings. Went to the pond uh, at the Ponyville Park, happened to walk front as Rainbow Dash and took off. Fluttershy noticed the look 
of dismay on Twilight Sparkle's face, so she made a decor. Hold it right there, little sweeties. The, the yellow pegasus cooed to her a feather follows. I'll be just a teen, a itty bitty moment. Then I'll be here to be a little paddle, like I promised. The ducklings responded with tiny little quacks. Hey, Fluttershy. Hi, Fluttershy, the twilight said, looking in the sky in concern up in the sky. Rainbow kicked a clown in frustration and it disappeared in a poof. She frowned and looked to see another puffy cum cumulus to take her anger out on. Is something wrong with Rainbow Dash? Fluttershy asked, looking toward the sky. She seems a little down. She wants to talk to, uh, about the new Daring Do book, but nobody, no ponies finished reading it yet, explained Twilight. She furrowed her brow in concern. Oh, just as I started reading it, Fluttershy. But I had to put it down to take care of my daily document duties. It's such a, it's quite good so far. I just wish that uh, something we could help her to do. Oh, it's so great to see a pony. He's so excited about reading, Twilight sighed. If I had it my way, every pony would read uh, read all the time. Then we would have meetings to discuss what we had learned and exchange ideas. So why don't you do that? asked Fluttershy. It seems like fun. Fluttershy, that's perfect. Twilight replied, standing up. We'll do a Daring Do book club and we can hold it for the library. And then Rainbow can talk about the book she wants. Rainbow flew down as fast as Fluttershy and Twilight didn't even see it coming. Now that's what I'm talking about. As she did, as she cheered and she did a backflip. By the way, I was totally listening to your whole conversation. 